Shane Starnes here with DroidForms.net. Today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader on the developer edition of the Razer HD. Uh, this will also work on the Razer HD Max and the Razer M, so the same process will work on all the devices. It's a very simple process. You just go through the Motorola website and it leads you through the whole entire process. Um, some of you guys may already know how to do this, but if you don't, you can follow along. And I'm just going to go step by step how to do this. Uh, so you will need the developer edition. This will not work on the consumer model. And you need to know that your warranty will be void the moment that you unlock the bootloader. Uh, they will verify your device and give you an ID uh, and an unlock key. And so that will be tied to your device. So if you try to turn it in for warranty purposes, they're going to say, look, you unlocked your bootloader, which voided your warranty. So just keep that in mind. It would really stink if a piece of the hardware went bad within the first year and you had unlocked your bootloader. Just think of what you're getting yourself into before you proceed. Now, so what we want to do here is head to the link in the description. Okay, if you head to the link in the description, that will bring you to this page. Uh, this is the Motorola Global Portal uh, customer help. This is the unlock your device page. Um, there are four easy steps involved in unlocking your bootloader. The overview and warning, so that's this whole page where they try to talk you out of doing it, and then they're going to uh, ID your device and give you an unlock key, unlock your device, and then you will finish and validate. So that's what we're going to do now. You'll go all the way down to the bottom of this list and you will proceed anyway. Okay, so you're going to be prompted to sign up for the MyMoto Care. If you don't have a MotoCast ID, you will have to uh, create one here or you can sign in with Google. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Once you sign in, It'll bring you to this page. It says you're almost done. You'll have to enter in your personal information, save the changes, and then you can proceed. Okay, so it looks like it's a little bit more of a process than what I thought. It's not a one-click unlock, which is fine. Uh, you'll need to have the SDK installed. Most of you guys that have purchased a developer device already have that installed. If you don't, I have a tutorial on how to install the Android SDK on my personal channel. Um, you can find that by searching Galaxy Nexus. Uh, install SDK. You can find that video there. Uh, and then you'll need to install the latest Motorola USB drivers which are here. You should be good if you've ever plugged the phone into the computer and it was recognized. You should be just fine. Uh, but just in case you might as well go ahead and grab those and install them. Okay once you have the SDK installed and uh, the USB drivers are all installed then you're going to go back to your phone. So you'll power down the phone and put it in fast boot mode. So the way that you're going to put this in fast boot mode is you're going to hold both uh, volume rockers and the power button until it boots into fast boot. And you go into AP fast boot and select up. Okay, so now you're just going to go ahead and plug in your USB cable. Okay, so you will need to open up the command prompt in your SDK tools. So go to wherever you installed the Android SDK and you'll go into the platform tools. And this is where you'll open up the command prompt. So you'll go shift and right click and open command window here. So it'll be the easiest way to do that. Okay, and then you'll type this line of code here under three, which is fast boot OEM unlock data without the money sign. Now you have some data here. This fastboot command will return a character string this device ID which you will use to generate your unique unlock key. So that's what we got there. To generate your unlock code you'll need to paste together the five lines of output in one continuous string without bootloader or info or white spaces using the example above. Uh, so, okay, so we're just going to paste all this without spaces and copy the device string um, in this box right here. So we'll go back there and we will copy all of that. So just kind of paste that into a text editor and remove all the spaces and any in the infos like so.
you'll copy your finished product and paste that in this box. Okay, it says get your unlock key. So we'll read through all of the terms and then we'll say yes, I agree and request the unlock key. This will void your warranty. Are you sure? Select OK. Okay, it says that you will receive an email with the unlock key. So you'll have to go to your email address. So you should receive an email with your unlock key. If you did not check your spam folder, be sure to check that as well. So we'll go ahead and check our email and we should have that key. Now, one other thing I should mention is this will wipe data. So be sure to back up everything before you get started on the bootloader unlock procedure. Uh, otherwise, all your pictures, music, videos, everything will be gone. So I don't say I didn't warn you. Be sure to back up everything because it will completely wipe your phone. Okay, so here is the email and it has the unlock code. You'll just copy that and go back here and you'll paste it. Just turn off your device, start the device in fastboot mode, which it's already in fastboot mode, so I don't know if we have to do anything different. Um, open a command window or terminal on your computer. Change field to show path to the tools folder. So we'll just go back into our, we'll close out of this. Close out of that. And we'll go back to our platform tools and we'll open up a new command line. So shift, right click, open command window here. And let's see what we have to type. Fast boot devices. And it gives me my device there so we can move forward. Fast boot, OEM, unlock, and then we'll add our unique key. So fast boot, OEM, unlock, and then we'll go back to our email, copy and paste that unique key. Enter. And that should begin the unlocking process. It says unlock on the phone. Right there, you see it says unlocked. And then it'll pop up this screen, a warning bootloader unlocked. Your device bootloader has been unlocked, allowing critical software components to be altered. I think it's just rebooting our device. So there we go. Uh, so now our device has an unlocked bootloader. We can install custom recoveries, which will be the next video. I'm gonna show you guys how to manually flash a custom recovery. We're going to install Twerp, but you can do Clockwork Mod recovery in the same way, so uh, stay tuned for that. And also, there's uh, Signage in My 10 is already here for unlocked Razer HD devices, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. I'm also going to cover SafeStrap. Uh, Hashcode and DHacker have developed SafeStrap for all the consumer models, and there are already some ROMs coming out for SafeStrap on the consumer Razer HD, so you want to be sure that you're subscribed to this channel for that. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the forums.